how to save time on email production and how to update all emails at once. In this video, you will learn everything about modules, what they are, how to use them so you save time on email production, and how to edit or update content across all email templates at once. Before we start, let us tell you that on our site, in the Customer Stories section, our users share how they manage to spend literally one hour instead of 16 to build an email from scratch by using modules. Let us start with a definition of a module. The module is an email element that contains either an entire stripe or a row, aka structure, or just a container with any number of blocks in them. As we previously said, modules do speed up email production. But how exactly? You build one, save it to your modules library. When working on a new email, you pull this module into your template, if necessary slightly edit its content without creating it all over again. How do you build a module? For instance, we need to use this row, aka structure, in future emails. We highlight it, then pick the Save as module option. In the settings panel, we give this row a name, select its category for our convenience. Done! Please be advised that we save only the HTML code of the module, including images and descriptions. It means that design styles, including backgrounds, will be pulled from the Appearance section. For detailed information on how to set styles in the Appearance section, please refer to our namesake video. How can we use this module? We open a new email template. Pick a necessary module, if you have more than one. Choose where exactly we want to place it. Then pull it into the template. If necessary, we can edit the module's content. Now let's move on to the synchronized modules. They do help you edit or update content across all email templates at once without updating each of them manually. How does it work? Let's say you have an email header or a footer. Normally, these email elements do not change but sometimes we need to update some content in them. How do we do it? When saving a new email module, we make it synchronized. Once we do it, we see an icon located to the right of the structure. It shows us the module is synchronized, but the synchronized option is not active yet. To turn it on, click on this yellow icon to open the structure settings and toggle the synchronized module button. Done. They do help you edit or update content across all email templates at once without updating each of them manually. Whenever you drag this module into your templates, it will always be synchronized, but the synchronization option will be off. To turn it on, you will need to toggle the synchronized module button. Now these modules are synchronized. But how does it work? Let's say we need to change a product's description. Once we do it, the synchronization option will be deactivated for this particular module. Because now we have to choose what exactly we need to do with this module. Option 1. Update the module's content. This means the change will be applied to all the templates where this module was used. Option 2. Restore. By choosing this option, you restore the previous version of your email. The module will remain synchronized with other emails. Option 3. Deactivate synchronization for this particular module. We choose Update. The synchronization option is on again. Now let's open another email with this module to check its content. We can see the changes have been applied to all emails where the module was used. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for more.